In this lesson, we'll use a 3D cutaway plane to model the terrace slab. Then we'll create the strip and pad foundations of the building. Navigate to the terrace side of the building. There's a missing slab. We'll model it in the 3D window using the 3D cutaway feature. Activate the slab tool. If you'd like to skip to the next lesson, you can apply the terrace slab favorite from the Lesson 8 Favorites folder. In the Slab Tool Settings dialog, set up the following parameters. Reference Plane Elevation to Project 0, 3000. Composite, Flat Roof, Reference Plane Top, Surfaces, Tiles, White, Matte, 15 by 15, Brick, White Natural, Paint, Glossy White. Tags, Load Bearing Element, Exterior, and Slab. Layer, Structural Bearing. Click OK to close this dialog. Select the polygonal geometry method in the info box. The 3D cutaway plane should be placed on the gallery level. To do this, push the 3D cutaway button on the standard toolbar. Then click the 3D cutaway tab at the top of the screen and move the cursor down along the blue line. Click on the one gallery mark. You can also simply type 3000 and press enter. Click on the Finalize button to finish the 3D cutaway placement. Now, using the Slab tool, start drawing the terrace slab by clicking the exterior corners of the short wall segments. Use the Smart Cursor and the Snap Guides. Make sure that the straight longer side goes along the internal side of the core skin of the exterior wall. Please pay special attention to the accuracy of the slab node's input because otherwise it will not be connected correctly with the walls. Only click on the four corners of the slab. We'll add the curve later. The last two slab nodes must be placed on the intersection points of the short wall's external faces and the curved walls of the outside core's faces. Click on the first point to finish the slab input. Select the slab and click on the edge that needs to be curved. When the pet palette appears, choose the Curve Edge button and click on the outer face of the curved load-bearing skin. In the Standard Toolbar, push the arrow next to the 3D Cutting Plane button and select the Delete All Cutting Planes command. Then switch off the 3D Cutting Plane by toggling its button on the toolbar. The result is almost OK, but the texture on the slab is rotated, so let's align it with the wall. With the slab still selected, apply the Document, Creative Imaging, Align 3D Texture, Reset menu command. Finally, deselect the slab.